All right, so now for our next constraint, which is going to be placing the slider clamp end on. So I'm going to double tap to clear out everything I had going on there. And I'm going to place this slider clamp onto the end of the bar there. Okay, I'm going to turn it so I can see the inside of both. Oh, actually, I don't need to on this one. Take that back. Okay, so I'm going to use a slider because I want this clamp end to be able to slide up and down that bar. Okay, so I'm going to go slider mate. Okay, and again, I need to tell it where the mate connectors are since I don't have them already selected. So I'm going to tap on the face of the clamp and I want the center there. All right, and then I'm going to tap on the end of the bar where I want that to go and tap the center there. And notice that it locks it in. Now, right now if I hit the check, it'll just slide up and down that bar, but it'll also go off the bar. Uh, and over the other end, this isn't a physics engine. It doesn't recognize, hey, there's material there that I'm going to hit. Okay, so what you can do in Onshape is set maximum and minimum distances. So zero is the starting point, And I want it to go, hopefully, seven is my uh, Z direction. If for some reason that doesn't work, flip them. So it's negative seven and zero, negative seven for my minimum and zero. Sometimes that's just how it's going to be. You got to fix it. Okay, make happy little mistakes, we learn from them. All right, so let's try that guy out. And one thing, um, oh, I got the wrong direction. All right, that's good, because I want to show you how to fix that. Okay, so this should be negative seven. Seems every time I do this assembly, it comes up differently on that. And my maximum is going to be zero, okay? Um, and hopefully, now it moves the right way. And see how it stops right there? That's 7.5 inches in. It won't go beyond that, which is precisely what we want. All right. By the way, if you want to tap and move, you have to have that type, top right hand corner, the rotation lock turned off. Uh, and I believe you can still just grab a hold of the part if I do it quicker. Uh, select it. I'm going to mess with this again later. But there's a way to grab the piece and move it with that turned off. But for right now, the triad manipulator is good. All right, so that should be good for that part.